Have you ever wondered about the hidden source of heart attacks that most people are unaware of? Let's delve into this mystery, which is deeply rooted in a book penned by Thomas Levy, Maryland. In this intriguing work, Levy unearths a startling connection between heart attacks and a seemingly unrelated factor, dental health. Just to give you an idea of the magnitude of this revelation, let's consider this. In a study of 101 heart attack patients, a staggering 78% were found to have pathogens or harmful microorganisms in their system. The shocking part, these pathogens are typically found in infections related to root canal treated teeth. Yes, you heard it right. The health of your teeth could be a crucial factor affecting your heart. But this begs the question, how do these pathogenic biofilm microorganisms, which should ideally be confined to our dental cavities, end up in our hearts? And what role does this unexpected journey play in triggering a heart attack? Now the plot thickens. These same microorganisms have also been discovered in the clots of certain stroke victims. It's as if these tiny invaders are following a path, a path that leads them straight to the heart, turning it into a battlefield. According to Levy's book, the real culprit is chronic long-term infection. This persistent infection, called chronic apical periodontitis, often goes unnoticed, silently wreaking havoc in our bodies. As we chew and swallow, it's possible that these bacteria are being pushed deeper into the lymphatic system in your jaw and even throughout your body. The problem is exacerbated when dental procedures intended to sterilize and seal the affected area inadvertently push the bacteria deeper into the body, turning it into a ticking time bomb. This infection could be lurking anywhere, in the tooth, the gums, the jaw, or even the tonsils. And so the stage is set for a potentially fatal event. But how does this chronic exposure to pathogens trigger a heart attack? And can we do anything to prevent it? Let's dive into this mystery and uncover the hidden link between dental health and heart attacks. Chronic long-term infection or chronic apical periodontitis is an issue that often goes unnoticed. This condition is more common than you might think, and the tricky part is that it frequently doesn't exhibit any symptoms. That's right, you could be hosting a silent party of pathogenic biofilm microorganisms in your mouth without even knowing it. These uninvited guests are not just partying in your mouth, they're also hitching a ride deeper into your body every time you chew and swallow. Through the lymphatic system in your jaw, these microbes can travel like tourists, taking in the sights of your body, and unfortunately, causing havoc along the way. Now here's where things get a bit more serious. The chronic exposure to these pathogens can become a problem, especially if your immune system isn't up for the task of fending them off. And it's not just a matter of having a sore throat or a toothache. This condition has been linked to more severe health issues like heart problems and arthritis. The bacteria from your mouth can make their way to your heart, contributing to the formation of clots and potentially leading to heart attacks. Similarly, they can affect your joints, causing inflammation and arthritis. It's like a chain reaction set off by these microscopic troublemakers. But how does this happen? Well, when you have an infection, for instance, in a root canal treated tooth, the pulp is taken out, attempts are made to sterilize it and then it's sealed. But in this process, many of the tubules are also removed. This is where the bacteria can reside and from there, they can easily spread deeper into your body. So, while you might be thinking that these issues are just age catching up or perhaps the result of your diet or lifestyle, it could actually be a chronic long-term infection lurking in your mouth, silently impacting your overall health. This silent infection in the mouth could be a ticking time bomb for your heart. It's crucial to stay informed and proactive when it comes to your oral health because, as it turns out, it's not just about having a shining smile. Imagine your body is in a constant state of battle, fighting off free radical damage. This is oxidative stress. Picture a battlefield within your body where the soldiers are your cells and the invaders are harmful substances known as free radicals. These free radicals, born from the process of oxidation, are highly reactive and can cause damage to your cells, leading to inflammation and disease. Now let's connect this to the over 500 different strains of bacteria, viruses and fungus that could be thriving in your mouth. Each time you chew, swallow, or simply open your mouth, you could potentially be inviting these microorganisms to wage war on your body. And the weapons they bring to this battle are their toxic byproducts, which can trigger inflammation and immune reactions throughout your body. When these pathogens become too numerous or your body's defenses are weakened, oxidative stress can occur. 
This is essentially an imbalance between the production of free radicals and your body's ability to counteract their harmful effects. And this is where the heart comes into play. Our heart, the engine that keeps us running, is particularly vulnerable to oxidative stress. The continuous onslaught of free radicals can lead to damage in the heart muscle, potentially resulting in heart disease or even a heart attack. What's more, these pathogens from your mouth can travel through your bloodstream and directly infect your heart, adding another layer of risk. But why should you be particularly concerned about oxidative stress? Because it's a silent enemy. You won't feel it creeping up on you. There are no obvious symptoms until it's too late and the damage is done. You might feel a bit tired, perhaps a little under the weather, but you'd never suspect that the war waged in your mouth could be the cause. So the next time you brush your teeth or visit your dentist, remember that you're not just maintaining a healthy smile. You're also protecting your heart, your health and your life from the silent menace that is oxidative stress. The war in your mouth could be silently wreaking havoc on your heart. How does the body respond to this onslaught of pathogens? By forming clots. Yes, you heard that right. When faced with a chronic infection, the body's defense mechanism can sometimes be a double-edged sword. Let's break it down. The body, in all its wisdom, tries to contain the spread of these pathogens. It does this by developing clots. These clots serve as barriers, like walls in a fortress, preventing the bacteria, viruses and fungi from spreading through your bloodstream. It's a smart move, isn't it? But there's a catch. While these clots are protecting you from the spread of infection, they could also be setting the stage for potential heart problems. Those clots, if they happen to block the blood flow in your coronary arteries, can lead to myocardial infarctions, the medical term for heart attacks. Now, this isn't something that happens overnight. It's a gradual process, one that happens over time as your body continues to battle against the pathogenic invaders. So, what are the signs that this could be happening? Well, if you're experiencing fatigue, chronic inflammation and jaw problems, it might be time to pay attention. Tooth sensitivity, too, could be a sign that something's awry. These symptoms might seem unrelated, but remember, we're talking about a stealthy, hidden source of heart attacks. And here's the tricky part. You might just feel a little tired, a bit run down. It's easy to shrug off, isn't it? But if you're wondering why your immune system feels compromised, it could be an indication that you're dealing with oxidative stress overload. You might be asking, what can I do? Well, know that understanding is the first step. By knowing how your body responds to chronic infection, by recognizing the signs, you're already on the path to making informed decisions about your health. Remember, it's not about living in fear, it's about understanding the intricate ways our bodies work, the delicate balance they maintain, and how small changes can have big impacts. Your body's defense mechanism could be setting the stage for a heart attack. But with knowledge comes power. The power to make changes, to seek help, and to take control of your health. So, what can you do if you suspect you're dealing with this hidden source of heart attacks? Well, one potential solution might lie in the power of liposomal vitamin C. This isn't your ordinary vitamin C. We're not talking about treating a deficiency here. Instead, we're using this vitamin as an antioxidant to combat oxidative stress, that damaging situation where free radicals run rampant and our body's antioxidant reserves can't keep up. Now, what makes liposomal vitamin C special is its ability to go intracellular. It can penetrate deep into our cells, getting right into the heart of the matter. This can potentially help to lower oxidative stress and reduce inflammation caused by these hidden chronic infections. So how much should you take? A good starting point might be around 500 milligrams taken several times a day. Remember, vitamin C is water soluble, so we want to keep it flowing through your body, continuously fighting off that oxidative stress. As you start on this journey, you may notice your symptoms beginning to improve, but don't stop there. It's time to play detective. Start investigating potential causes of these symptoms. Could it be related to your diet? Perhaps you're not getting enough sleep or you're overdoing it with exercise? Or maybe, just maybe, it's related to a potential tooth infection. This is not about pointing fingers or laying blame. It's about understanding the intricate connections within our body, how one seemingly unrelated issue can have far-reaching effects. It's about taking control, becoming proactive in your health journey. Remember, this isn't just about your teeth or your gums. It's about your heart, your life, your well-being. 
It's about understanding that these pathogenic biofilms, these seemingly harmless bacteria, could be silently affecting your heart health. So take this knowledge, arm yourself with it, and start making those small changes that can make a big difference. Start with that liposomal vitamin C and then dig deeper. Investigate. Understand. Take control. Because taking control of your dental health could be the key to protecting your heart. The link between dental health and heart attacks is more significant than you might think. We've explored how chronic infections, oxidative stress overload, and our body's own defense mechanisms can turn oral issues into heart-related problems. The book by Dr. Thomas Levy gives a more in-depth understanding of this connection. So the next time you brush, remember, a healthy mouth isn't just about a dazzling smile. It could be the key to a healthy heart. Knowledge is power, and now you have the power to make a change.